seconds and count. Eighty seconds and count. Launch area to capsule. Is everything go, Mr. Morton? Everything is go. We're ready to launch. Aye, sir. Okay, you jokers. Out on the double. Come on. Condition red. Clear the launch area. Pilot's arm position. All tracking tape. Let's hear from pressure line. As we control pressure line, let's make sure you're fine. We're going to control the Okay. Report your Space radar. Report your Space radar. Check out. Green. 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 This is Nelson. All systems for experimental underwater launch are go. Make it a good one, Nelson. Well, don't worry, General. To three orbits around the Earth, we'll bring them back safe and sound. T minus 40 seconds in time. Radar. SEA to see you. All antennas prepared to track from liftoff. Orbital test flight is go. Repeat that from master control. Radar group 4 is all. 15 seconds and counting, spacecraft umbilical is ejected. 10 seconds and counting, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition. Wheelring, trim port side ballast. Altitude 100 miles, velocity 70,500 miles per hour. Capsule still locked on. Spacecraft separation, surface range 508 miles. and red signals. Check orange and red signals for any malfunctions. Station 5. CB to flight. CB to flight, come in, ship. CB to flight. CB to flight, come in, ship. to see you. We cannot read you. Flight to see you. Can you read us? Flight to see you. I can't turn it off. It keeps coming through.
lost them completely. The signals disappeared. Reserve power in. Recircuit. They couldn't have destructed it. No, we would have seen that. No, there was nothing on the tracking scope but a thin beam of light. Reserve power in. Still nothing. Add the reactor, Posky. Aye, aye, sir. Space agency to see you. Yes, General. We've lost the capsule on our screen. Do you have a reading? Negative. We're trying to reestablish communication. We have no sign of them at all. The capsule is probably orbiting out of control. Yes, I'm going to duplicate the mission with our backup vehicle. If we can rendezvous with them, we might be able to pick them up. Negative, until I clear it with Washington. But we've got two men up there. Negative, till clearance. Look, I'm not going to throw their lives away. Prepare the backup mission. We'll have clearance before blast off. Now start the pre-countdown operation. Control to rocket launch area. Attention, launch crew. Commence pre-countdown operations for launch of test vehicle two. Repeat. Commence pre-countdown operations for launch of test vehicle two. Move vehicle into position and fuel up. Aye, sir. All right, you heard him. Let's move. On the go. Come on. Hey, Chief. Yeah? What about a crew for the capsule? Well, they have backup astronauts on shore, and I guess uh, the skipper or maybe the admiral will ride co-pilot, just like... Well, just like Mr. Morton did. Okay? Let's move. Doesn't look like any landscape I've ever seen. Here's something odd. Gravity point four eight. Maybe the instrument was affected by the shock of the landing. Flight to Sea View. Come in. Flight to Sea View, can you read us? You better take a look outside. Send the space agency. SEA, come in, please. This is SEA, Admiral. Go ahead. Is your backup astronaut on his way here? He's standing by until we get authorization. Have you found out why your communications failed? No, but I don't think we'll have any trouble this time. We've just installed our new laser beam tracker in the system. And uh, Captain Crane is checking out the second capsule. I'll keep in touch. <laughs> Test 
Testing UHF Unit 4. Testing Unit 4. Go ahead, Skipper. Unit 4. Admiral? What the please has happened down there? Admiral, the, the capsule and Captain Crane, they, they're gone. The devil are you talking about? We're in the middle of countdown. There was no blast off. Yes, sir, I know. I know that, but the capsule is gone, sir. Admiral, the tracker. It's tracking. According to that, the capsule's in flight. SEA to see you. Oh. Go ahead, General. Admiral, our monitors show your test vehicle in flight. Yes, yes, I'm, I'm checking into it. Did you get direct clearance from Washington? No. Oh, look, stand by. I'll, I'll get back to you. Check the computer. I sir. Oh, Admiral, sir. The computer speed of the capsule, Admiral. The speed. 186,000 miles per second. The speed of light. And they're heading for the... Headed for where, sir? The planet Venus.
I ask you again. When does Earth plan to invade the planet Centaur? Earth plans no invasion. Have you made explorations of the moon? Yes. Have you explored this planet, Venus? Venus? Yes. Only by remotely controlled space vehicles. Have you explored the planet Mars? Only by remotely controlled space vehicles. What is your next objective? Get out of there. planet Centaur, in a distant part of this galaxy. We brought you both here to our scouting outpost on Venus. Scouting outpost? Why? To find out why you Earth people are invading other planets. What your capabilities are for invading Centaur. We've never even heard of Centaur. We do not believe you. You will tell us. Uh, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'll tell you what you want to know, without this. Now first, uh, let me explain to you how our equipment compares with yours. You see, uh, your electrons uh, depend on photon operation. Ours, on the other hand, uh, don't have the similar... to rescue a mission to Venus. I'm having trouble convincing them of the facts, Harry. I can hardly believe them myself. And a crane is on Venus. All of our indicators say so. If you don't give Washington a move, I'll do the job myself. Admiral, I'm we're ready with the picture from the capsule's TV camera. Oscar, try to raise Captain Crane. Aye, sir. Sea view to test module two. Sea view to test module two. Come in, test module two. still on standby. Aye, sir. Then give manual control to the captain of all components. Aye, sir. Lee? Lee? I don't know if you can hear me. This is Nelson. You now have manual control of all components. We do not wish to kill you. We only want to take you to Centaur, our planet. The answer's no! Do you wish to die here? I don't wish to die anywhere! Within six hours, this side of Venus will be under the direct gravitational pull of the sun. Once a month, the ground is torn apart. Everything goes into convulsion. 
Nothing survives. Come with us. You don't need us on Centaur. Send us back to Earth. still trying to figure out if this is real or some kind of a nightmare. Well, it's, it's real enough. We've tracked you. You're on the planet Venus. But how did I get here? Uh, that's one of the things we're trying to figure out ourselves. Uh, Chip and Wilson with you. Oh, uh, Wilson's dead. Uh, Chip's here, but he's uh, he's been captured. Captured? Now, look, uh, I'll try to get Chip away. But if I do, what happens to us? Uh, somehow, you'll just have to try to survive up there. I've already got wheels turning in Washington to send up a rescue mission. Uh, that'll take months. And I've just found out that this side of Venus is due to be hit by a solar storm in about six hours. Try to get Chip back to the space capsule. You might be able to ride out the storm inside. All right, Admiral. I'll get the Chip. We'll, uh, we'll manage somehow. the nature of the fire that comes from the space vehicle it is a chemical combustion under pressure how is it stopped by a control inside the capsule who is the earth man whose voice i heard one named nelson admiral nelson is our chief he is over all of us then he knows all about these space vehicles yes he is in charge of their movements of this test flight you are on Yes. Centaur. 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 Centaur, do you have the other one? I am pursuing him. When you get him returned here, I am going to Earth to get another human, one named Nelson. An important one who can give us the best information.
Investigate. This is Nelson. Go ahead, Admiral. We have an exact pinpoint of Crane's location. Has Washington approved the rescue mission? Affirmative. We're starting a 72-hour countdown on a rescue capsule to be launched from here. Am I cleared to go along? You are. Roger, out. Admiral, that's, that's much too late. They only have six hours before that solar storm hits. Then they'll have to survive till we get there, won't they? Admiral. Same kind of beam as those other ones when Commander Morton and Captain Crane disappeared. Mm-hmm. Only this time, it's coming straight toward us. What do you think it means, sir? It could... It could mean an invasion. Sharky, sound general quarters. Aye, sir. speaks to Nelson. Who are you? You are isolated. You have no communication with the rest of your planet. I repeat, who are you? Centaur to Nelson. I am coming aboard. <sighs> you try to board us, it's the last thing you'll ever do. Dive, dive! <laughs> Yes, I'm Nelson. And who are you? You are the leader of these men, of the others we brought to the planet Venus. I want to know what you are and what you're doing here. I came for you. Well, that's very interesting. Now, what do you want with me? All the knowledge contained in your mind. We wish to learn all there is to know about the ability of Earth people to penetrate space. Why? Any invaders are a potential threat to us. We must know your plans, your capabilities, so we may defend against them. We're not invaders, so why should you want to defend yourself against us? You launched a space vehicle from this ship you call Seaview. Uh, trial flight, yes. There will be others to follow. Eventually, you will reach the outer limits of this galaxy. When you do, we will be ready to destroy you. Uh, you want me to tell you how you can accomplish that destruction? Yes. And you made a, a long trip to Earth for nothing. Take him! Do not try anything so foolish again. The next time my forces will be applied directly against all of you. All right. What now? First, I wish to examine this vessel. You will act as my guide. Well, you see, I, I'm, uh, I'm needed here. I'll uh, assign someone else. Uh, uh, Kowalski. Hi, sir. And after you've completed your tour of inspection? I will transport this vessel and you back to my planet. <laughs> well, that's impossible. You forget. We have already done this with two of your space vehicles. We can transform mass of any size into light energy and transport it at will. You will take me through the ship. Sir. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, 
pass the word to all hands. Stand by for battle alert. Uh, if no intercoms, uh, word of mouth, the transceivers only. Now um, move out on the double. steel bars on my neck. All right, now just, uh, just hold on a minute. Hold on. Thanks. Can we get out of here? We're in radio contact with the Sea View. The Admiral's getting a rescue party up to us. Now listen to me, Chip. We've got to hang on until they get here. Our spaceships don't travel at the speed of light. It would take them at least three months to get here. They told me the ground on this side of Venus gets torn apart by the sun once a month. That doesn't give us much of a choice. Die here or on their planet? No, Chip, there's another choice. Survive. Now, if we can get back to the capsule, at least we'll have rations and some protection. But first, I want to check out their instrumentation. It might help us. Now, come on. That's it. No easy. Here, wait a minute. Just let me go first now. Come on. Yes, sir? He's on his way to you now. Hit him when I get the alarm. Nice, sir. You'll get help from every part of the boat. Yes, sir. That's it. This is a missile. Our heavy weapons? Missile on the control. This is Nelson. He's here, sir. Okay. Now. Our guns are gone. Tell your Admiral Nelson I will examine his reactor room. Then I will deal with him, his ship, and his crew. Control the missile room. Chief, do you hear me? Kowalski. Patterson. Chief. Admiral, it's, uh, it's no use. It's just too much for us. Like, uh, like getting hit by lightning, it's... It's that white orb he carries. Well, it can't be just the orb. There's got to be a power source he uses. That, that beam we came in on. Can you pull yourself together? We'll launch the flying sub. I'm going to attack his power source. Yes, sir. First man. You will learn nothing there. Now move away. You okay? I'm all right. I'm all right. What's the matter? That's my eyes. I can see. Did it blind you with this? Yes, it must be wearing off. All right, keep watching. Let's see if this can give us some help with the instrumentation here.
attack with a laser. What do you think, Lee? I don't know. Is this set now to send us back? Yes, but only centaurs can operate it. Then you'd better do it. Now, this place could come down any minute. You want to die here? It will send us to Earth. Turn power to maximum and activate. Can we trust him? We don't have any other choice. This is Centaur on Earth. I need maximum power. Activate. Maximum power is required to transfer the Earth submarine to Venus. Activate at once. If I turn up the power, he'll have a sea view here. If we don't get back to Earth, we're dead. All right. We'll try to stay alive in the capsule. Move. I need maximum power. Activate. Something must have gone wrong with the main controls. We will return to Venus without the sea view. What do you make of it, Chief? Hmm. That blasted being was there again, but it... It's gone now. Does that mean the, the Admiral and the Flying Sub are gone too? Like the Skipper and Mr. Morton? Look, kid, I don't know what it means. The Navy I was brought up in sailed on the water, not, not through the sky. But if they are all up there on that planet, how are we going to get them back? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? I tell you what we're going to do. Nothing. That's what. Nothing? But, Chief... <laughs> Just listen to me, kid. You will see them come back down here. Believe me. Are you sure about that? Sure, sure I'm sure. With both the Admiral and the Skipper up there and Mr. Morton. Are you kidding? Listen, Patterson, the only guys in trouble are those aliens who snatched them in the first place. Just tell me when they're heading back here. I want to be ready to really pipe them aboard. I guess you're right, Chief. Never gotten out of rougher waters than these. Yeah, you bet your sweet life I'm right. Just take it from me. They're not in any trouble at all. At all. We'll have some protection. Come on. We've arrived. We 
with not much time to spare. Your foolish resistance on the sea you delayed me. We will have to leave this planet at once. What about the other men you brought here? They are with my companion. In the vicinity where the one you call Crane landed on this planet. Better get us back before this solar storm kills everyone. That is my intention, Nelson. I shall convey all of us to the planet Centaur. I see it will be necessary for me to relieve you of your sight. We're only a matter of minutes left. Get us back to Earth. I told you of my intention, Nelson. I shall convey all of us to the planet Centaur. Now stand back. out of here now we're all dead i repeat the controls at our master operations were set to return you activate them not at the risk of bringing seaview and its crew up here what if i show you how we can prevent that how we can get off this planet maybe too late now no i can return us to the cave with the orb let me have it now will you just show me how to work it i'll get us back no. Do you tell me? Tell me or we'll all die here. Turn it with your fingertips until three impulses are felt. General Quarters. Hey, what a feast for the eyeballs this is. You all look so good, I could kiss you. Uh, I mean, uh, I, I thought we'll... Uh... Welcome back aboard, gentlemen. I believe me, Chief, we're happy to be back. So what happened? Were you really up there on Venus? Huh? How'd you get there, and, 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 and how'd you get back? Uh, and what... Easy, easy, Chief. We'll, we'll give you all the details in good time. Captain. It's a radio inquiry from a lecture bureau. They want to know if I'd be interested in making a tour. The subject to be the safety and convenience of making future interplanetary flights. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, why you think of an appropriate reply? <laughs> Head us back for port, will